with Nancy and Bill Oakley, who are the owners of Grass Creek Gardens in Mooresville off Highway 150 near Lazy Five Ranch. They have some beautiful decorative grasses that they grow. It's very interesting. Well, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. And it all fell into place for me because I've driven on 150 to Lazy Five and seen that beautiful gardens from the yeah. street. So right before yeah. Lazy Five, it's very visible from the road and it's gorgeous. And now I know that's Thanks. what that is. That's wonderful. So how did you all get started? Tell us well, your... we, um, we bought the property back in 1990. Okay. And was pretty much just mowing the grass, mowing, mowing, mowing. So we wanted to do something different. And the uh, ornamental grasses started, you know, we saw a few and, and just I started collecting them, essentially. Hmm. Became a and hobby. I, huh? <laughs> became a hobby for we, you. Well, it became a hobby and then became a business, essentially. So um, turned it into a nursery at some point. How, how'd you discover decorative grasses? Because I don't know that you know a lot of people. Really well, through are that magazines, familiar. really, um, <laughs> where I first saw them, mm -hmm. and I knew it was different. I didn't want to do just a shrub, 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 right. you know. Right. And once we started that, it turned out to be um, a whole lot more than I expected. <laughs> now, are these grasses indigenous to this area, or is it something you brought? Some are. Okay. Uh, we carry natives. Okay. Uh, also, a lot of them from China and and things like that. So um, most of the miscanthus are, are China. Okay. okay. But uh, uh, there's quite a few natives as well. And it's not just, you, you said there's a nursery, then there's gardens. Now are you mixing in with other items or is this, is this more of a grass garden? Well, uh, we pretty much uh, built a display garden because the grasses, when they're in the containers, they really don't show their best. So okay. mm -hmm. we decided to just build a garden so you could see what they actually look like five and ten years down the road. So um, it became a business that way. Plus, So we started with uh, the grasses and we did a lot of other perennials because grasses are perennials. Mm -hmm. And just to g give the color and such and, and uh, the shrubs and the trees and everything so it's, it's just keeps progressing keeps going going <laughs> are the grasses hard to grow if somebody wanted to incorporate that into their landscaping the, do they have to be they have a green thumb or are they all. hard to kill <laughs> they're hard to kill more okay. so yes they're they're the easiest thing to grow you they take no attention really you, okay you cut them back in the spring mm -hmm. and uh, that's it Mm -hmm. You don't really fertilize them because when you fertilize them, they get too leggy okay. and they start, you know, falling down. So it actually works out pretty good. So it's very low maintenance. Now you've got two examples here that are green. Now I see when I've driven by, I've seen other color too. Yes. So what colors? I mean, what what do you expect to see when you go There's look at blues. a There's blues. Okay. There's mm -hmm. a lot of different varieties of blues. There's variegated leaves. There's okay. solid leaves. Okay. There's red. There's ones that mm -hmm. look kind of fuzzy and fluffy, right? right that's what I think of when right. I think of ornamental grasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the pampas grass, which are very difficult to maintain. So they're okay. not really recommend, we don't really recommend them. Okay. They're beautiful, but they're very hard aggressive. to cut back and okay. aggressive. Okay. Yeah, that was a question that I was going to ask, is if there are certain ones that kind of take over, you know, that'll there take over. There are certain ones that can take over, <laughs> most of them. Okay. You have to have and you have to have room for some of them. Some of them, though, are, are you know, a foot tall, mm -hmm. and some of them are 20 feet tall. Oh, okay. okay. So the ones yeah, that get 20 big, feet tall big, get, yeah. get right. aggressive. Right. Okay. You've got to have lots of room for those guys. Now talk a little bit about your property, too, because it's not just the grasses, and you'll see it from the road. There's little walkways, and I know you've done something with your house or your kitchen. So tell us a little bit yeah. about what else you've done over there, and, and you can go for a tour as well. True, yeah, true. So. Well, last fall we took down our barn, 50-year-old plus barn, okay. and reincorporated it into the kitchen renovation project. Oh, wow. So the flooring, the ceilings, a lot of the framing, and Bill helped our contractor do every aspect of that. So it's, okay. it's really, really different. And um, as far as tours, we hope to have an event garden in okay. a few years, as soon as we can get some structures done and logistics worked out, shall we say, um, for wine tastings and oh, uh, maybe art in the garden, Water, um, yeah. wedding photographs, mm -hmm. um, as well as, as groups that want to come out, small groups, because mm -hmm. 
we, we don't have a lot of accommodation for hundreds of people. Now, how big is your location? We've got three and a half acres. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how much of it is actual gardens and nursery? Do you... About two, two and a half. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. Now, what are the hours that someone could come? Well, mostly Saturdays and Mondays because okay. uh, okay. we both work other jobs to okay. keep this going. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Saturdays and Mondays, we're usually there on Saturdays and Mondays. That's a great day to stop in. Okay. And you're right off of 150. You can't miss it. Right, right. by the Lazy right before, Five. Yeah, right before Lazy Five. Mm -hmm. As you were saying, some people think it's Lazy Five where they turn around and right, right Correct. There, yeah. And if people want to go out there and um, take a look and just see the display gardens and come visit you, they can get a free herb plan if they uh, look at the information on our website. Or a free perennial. A free perennial. A free perennial. Okay. So if you go to LakeNormanSavings.com and, and, and look up Grassy Garden. Grass, grass, grass Garden. Creek. Grass, Creek. Creek. grass Creek Garden. You can print off a coupon for a free perennial and take a tour of the thank gorgeous you. gardens. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Appreciate you having me. The time. other thing also yeah. is that um, Currents oh, yeah. Magazine is doing a beautiful feature on That's them right. for in the September issue. Yeah. With pretty um, photographs. They do such a nice job. It's one of our favorite magazines and so people should definitely pick up a copy if they want to learn more about what you do and, and we're going to be in the Salisbury paper sometime in, in September as well I believe. Okay. Right, well and in wonderful. the Currents magazine too Glenn Robinson um, has the pictures in there and he's done a beautiful job right. and they're known Currents is known for their pictures and also in that magazine is the Kids Eat Free section that we'll be right providing so yeah. check out the September issue it's one to hold on to. <laughs> well, thanks we're also this. open on other days just uh, because we work odd hours, but if people call us, then then uh, we can set up a time to meet with people. Okay. Right. Show them the nursery and such. Okay. And again, they can, they'll be able to find your phone number on lksavings.com and all okay. the information about where you're located. Very good. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.